What is happening, Magnesites? Welcome back to my review of Batman vs. Superman, the Dawn of Justice trailer. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through several shots that meant something to me, okay? That meant something to me, okay? That meant something to me. So if you don't see a shot that meant something to you, it ain't mean nothing to me, okay? So, without further ado, let's get this on, because this is going to be probably going to be a long video. So strap yourself in, get your popcorn, and get ready to laugh and enjoy yourself, goddammit. All right, so, first of all, I'd like to say that the, the trailer, it, it, it gets better the more you're watching. <laughs> Am I wrong? All right, so the first shot that got me, because I'm a fan of epicness, of epic shots, just the way things look. And Zack Snyder, I believe, is absolutely great at that. If you look at Watchmen, if you look at 300, look at Man of Steel, he's just great at those types of shots. I would love to be in one of his movies playing superhero. So the first shot here, all right, is of Superman descending upon the steps of humanity. You know what I mean? Ready to tell them why he's here. What happened? Look, like, look, look. It wasn't my fault. It was Zod with his fucking gelled up hair and bangs that was going around fucking shit up. And that's why I had to kill him. Okay, so that's what that's all about. And I see these signs here. It says, God hates aliens. Earth belongs to humans. Aliens. Doom nations. This is our world, not yours. Aliens are... That, that one's hidden. Tell us something. Maybe it's why you're here. Superman equal illegal alien. <laughs> when invasion... Can't read that one. Tell us about alien. Anyway, so we can see that people are pretty pissed off. They're pissed off and they're ready to open up a can of whoop-ass. I was going to say on this candy ass, but... On his alien ass. Give me a damn beer. All right. Next shot. We got Superman walking in to the government like a boss. Big as fuck. Legs is huge. Boots red. Chilling. Cape dragon. Wriggly on the fucking floor. Because he's the man. And that's the way it is. You know, I don't know what I liked about... Zack Snyder doing with his cape. His cape is longer than it should be. And it's kind of like shots you would see in the comic book with him or Batman or any other character with a cape. With, you know. <laughs> Spawn, I think, his cape has been the most outlandish of them all, but it's just so long and incredible that you know that it really would be a hindrance in real life. But to create an effect of regalness, of Godhood. He done this with him. You know what I mean? So I think that is really cool. Next. Um, we have Bruce Wayne witnessing the destruction of that building by Zod. That was Zod, I believe, right? When Zod, like, first, uh, you know, got a hold, like, his powers started coming out, right? When they were fighting in that building. And he did that, ah, or whatever. I think that's what he's catching right there. And uh, as you can see, he wasn't too happy with it. You know, he's he pretty pissed off. Um, I think that's interesting. I like how they're tying it all together. Bruce Wayne was in Metropolis, and he witnessed all of this. So I like this. I really like this. Next. We got the white man running toward the danger. While all the black people is running away. You see that? Say like, no. It was a <laughs> There's a bunch of people running away from the danger. Meanwhile, Batman, the man without fear, is running. That's funny I said because he played Daredevil too. <laughs> Batfleck, the man without fear, is running toward the danger. And I guess to save that little girl that was in that one shot. All right. Next. I... While I was going through the trailer, there were certain shots that I noticed that I actually missed when I watched it the first couple of times. I guess this is Wayne Manor. Burned up, fucked up, 
I mean, is that, I don't know, you know, is it from what happened in the, well, no, didn't he? No, because he had it rebuilt after Ra's al Ghul. But anyway, so apparently Wayne Manor ain't shit right now. And uh, then we got these notes, you let your family die. And I'm like, okay. When I was watching it the first time, I'm like, okay, is that the Riddler? Is it the Joker? Who is it? You know, um, I thought that was interesting. Like, there's just going to be a lot of shit in this movie because we didn't see Aquaman. We didn't see, ain't the Flash supposed to be in it? Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, Cyborg, you know, so I, I don't think the Flash is in it, right? Flash isn't in it because they haven't announced him, right? Okay, so anyway, next. I thought this was cool. He is back to training. You see Ben Affleck's back, you can see his ribs too. So you know he leaned the fuck out for this role. All right. So I give it to you, Batfleck. All right. You doing your thing. I'm ready for this. All right. Training with the tire, doing the CrossFit shit. I ain't never seen them dragging a tire, but this is this is cool. I, I like this. This actually ain't, just looking at this picture amping me up to train. And I was going to take the day off to rest. I might actually go to the gym and train today. And then they're talking about this bat influence, this bat menace vigilante. He's like a one man. I forgot what they said. One man something. And I like that. You know, the batarang stuck in the wall. You know, that's always the cool. You know, you see that, you already know. It's like Batman was here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then next shows this guy with the mark on him, and I'm like, okay. I don't think Batman carved that into him because it doesn't seem like it, you know. It, it, I mean, did he burn it into to him? Did it, it, did he cut it into him? Did he get hit smack in the chest with a batarang? Is it a brand of some sort? Is, is he part of the Batman Dark Knight crew? You know, he had those people that was down with him in the Dark Knight Returns. I mean, you know, well, what is that? Why is it on his chest? Okay. Uh, next. He wouldn't been talking to me like that. Superman or not. He talking about Clark Kent, you know, why is he Clark Kent versus the Batman or whatever it was or whatever he was saying to him. He wouldn't been talk. Morpheus wouldn't been talking to me like that. That's all I got to say. I mean, he, he turned into fucking Ike Turner in that scene. He was no longer Perry White, whatever his name is. He turned in. Yeah. <laughs> and now look, 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 motherfucker. I run the shit around here. And you, 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 you go, you motherfucker. Write that motherfucking article. Do what I tell you to and put some motherfucking stank on it, Clark. You know what I mean? Like he's, I was like, he get kind of gangster in that shot. He went like, said, you see how he looked at him when he went to walk away? I was like, look, come here, cuz. <laughs> oh no, he wasn't been taught me like that. Anyway, next shot. She wouldn't have been rubbing on my chest like that without something super about to go down after that. She was like, this, this means something. You damn right it means something. Don't be rubbing my chest like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next. I thought that this was interesting. That they actually painted this symbol of hope on the top so that they, he would see it and save them. And it reminded me kind of religiously as like churches having crosses at the top to signify like, like, okay, this is where we worship. This is our God, see it and know that we're here, Lord, you know, stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Although I never made sense to me why um, Christians would post a pagan symbol on top of their building that their savior was used to be killed by pagan symbol on a Christian church. Never made any sense to me. But anyway, I'm not getting into a religious debate. Next. Superman saved the girl from the burning building, cape flapping, building crumbling in the background. I need a shot like that in my life when I start doing movies, okay? I need a shot like epic shot right there. That's what I'm talking about. That tells me they got everybody out the building except for one left. And he went in there and saved her, impervious to pain and fire. Next. 
When I saw that blow up, and not, and I saw it blow up except for the tip. Just the nuts hanging out, man. I said, you know what? That's that shot. He was like, mm -mm -mm -mm. and well, lo and behold, there it is right there. One of the baddest shots in the whole motherfucking trailer. Probably in the whole damn uh, movie. I like that. It just shows power, cape flapping. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Next. And she told, look, you don't owe this world a goddamn thing, Clark. I raised you, okay? If you want, work at IHOP, all right? Serving pancakes. That make me that damn, I'm hungry right now. I might go get some pancakes, man. When I'm done here. she He really he really doesn't owe the world anything. Um, and I thought about this for a second. I said, you know what? If I was given powers like that, I would on. Oh, <laughs> I would almost feel obligated to use them in a way to, because I know that I can help. And if I can help, why not? You know, but uh, she's right. You know, I'm a damn thing, baby. And then uh, she was uh, Lex Luthor there with his long ass hair, <laughs> signifying that he is going to lose it. <laughs> uh, talking to that senator, talking about devils come from the sky. And then I was like, what the fuck is he doing to him? Knighting him? What is he doing? Uh, rise, I knight thee, Cal El Luthor. I don't I know what that was. And then, you know, when I saw this shot, I was like, you know, maybe he's in a weakened state. And he, and you know, he was just doing that rich, pompous talk shit, you know, that crazy motherfuckers do. In movies, you know, because he, he, maybe he's in a weakened state and he's just like, you know, I'm going to whoop your ass. Because that look right there is, is I'm going to fuck you up when I, when whatever, when I get a chance, you know. So, and then we see Zod in the body bag, nigga. And uh, I, this is only significant to me because I remember reading that Doomsday may be in this movie. Uh, and maybe he's a sure thing and they somehow develop him from his DNA. There's a lot of stuff that I think I think this mo this trailer is great because it showed us enough actually I felt like it showed us a lot but it showed us enough but I don't feel like I know the movie that I've seen the movie. You know what, you understand what I'm saying? So uh, that's good. Him with his fucking perfect spike bangs what kind of gel this nigga uses Next, now, when I saw this, I did not know it was the Robin outfit, okay? And then when I saw the, the letters on there painted, and I was like, is that the Joker or is that the Riddler? That looks more like the Riddler to me. But um, I saw that, and then I said, you know, then there's the, the, the Batman suit in the back with the hand recognition pad. And I was like, oh, this is the Batcave. Cause it looked better. It looked. It just looks better. It looks it doesn't look as dark and cavey <laughs> like. <laughs> so then that made me shoot back to this, and I said, "Okay." So he was walking into the Bat Cave when I saw that earlier. It looks like a fucking office building that's beat the fuck up at the bottom. Cause you see the water down there, like it's flooded and everything. So okay, so that's the Bat Cave. Then we shoot to this epic shot. Okay, one of the best shots in the damn movie. And uh, I assume from that Comic-Con trailer that he shines that light in the sky basically to call Superman. Like, look, I'm right here, nigga. Show up. All right? I'm at, I'm at, I'm at Johnson in 23rd, nigga. Show the fuck up. Okay, so. Then the... I didn't even want to show this because... Yeah, you know, but it, it was significant to me because I'm irritated at the fact that we have to keep seeing his parents get killed. Okay, we know the story. Everyone, even little starving kids, okay, in some small African countries know why and who the fuck Batman is and why he does what he does. His parents got killed in front of him. You know what I mean? I think, you know what I think? I think Zack Snyder was bullied into making doing that shot. By some big wig in a pinstripe suit smoking a fucking cigar. 
You know something, Zach? You're gonna put a scene of uh, Batman parents dying in this movie because we said so. You understand? That's what I think happened, personally. And went down just like that. I did not see this shot, okay? I didn't see that shot. And while I was going through the trailer looking for shots that meant something to me, I had noticed that. And I was like, oh, this Diana. So that's her first entrance, I think. I think. Uh, maybe not. But it's the first time I noticed it. Then we saw the Batwing in flight, okay? Flying over devastation. That's a whole lot of fire out there. Look at that. Look at that. Well, uh, that's a whole lot of flames. So something's going on with the Batwing right here. Raining down destruction. Mm -hmm. Now, I done had a woman look like me like that before. And I know what that means. That means meet me at my place at 12. Okay. And I think she's looking back at Bruce. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I mean, in Justice League Unlimited, she had a thing for him. So, I guess have they dated in the comic books? Let me know in the comment section below. Right there. That's some epicness for Wonder Woman right there. Getting ready to climb the indestructible bracelets together and create a motherfucking shockwave. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay. Wonder Woman has power in this movie. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do the damn thing. Okay. Still waiting to see how everything plays out. Henry Cavill. Great Superman. Great Superman. Only time will tell to see if he will be better than Christopher. Still waiting on to see if Batfleck and Gal are going to do it. I believe in them now. Believe more in Batfleck than Gal, but I'm, I'm on board. I'm on board, okay? I'm a believer. I'm going to wait and see what happens, okay? Now, then when I saw this, I said, is this some type of post-apocalyptic dream? Because a couple other shots after that, were of those, those Superman guards with the patches on their shoulders shooting motherfuckers up. And they had Batfleck on his fucking knees fighting him. I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, he got on the camo pants with with uh, over the suit. I was like, what the fuck? With goggles on. So I, it's just a pretty cool shot. I'm like, okay, this must be part of that dream sequence that everybody's talking about. Superman comes down and those guys kneel before him with the patches on his shoulder and everything. So that'll be really interesting to see. Then we see Batman fighting through the mirror. Now I remember reading the article that said that um we ain't never seen Batman fight like this before. I can't wait. They trained Batfleck right this I can't wait to see this shit. So I'm I'm ready. I like I said, I'm on board. Next. Um, Alfred's like um, he is not our enemy and you know Batman's pretty smart and it just makes me wonder what he's blinded by what his issue is that Alfred has got to tell him like look what the fuck is wrong with you you know but I don't follow the comics that much maybe he's always been a voice of reason maybe Bruce sometimes just gets out of fucking hand and Alfred is that father figure that's letting him know. You know, personally, I think they should have went and got the old um, Alfred. You know what I'm saying? The from, you know, I'm talking about the first Alfred from you know Michael Keaton. You know what I'm saying? Perhaps you should take a sandwich with you, sir. You know him. I'm talking about you know. Uh, anyway, so then we got Lex discovering. Uh, <laughs> The kryptonite, like he's like like he's Wonder's child. Like, oh, this is the one thing that can destroy him. <laughs> I'm glad I found it. You know what I mean? So, then we got Batfleck putting the boots to Superman's chest through the fucking window to the bottom of the floor. I was like, boy, he's definitely in a weakened state there because that's not Superman to be that fucked up. And Diana got her her fucking chest kicked into the back because she got slammed up against this wall. And I was wondering, who is she fighting? Is she fighting Superman? Is there some dream sequence? What's going on? 
All right, because right in the next shot is Superman flying toward uh, supposedly Batman, you know, and his eyes is lighting up. And, you know, and, you know then Batfleck get out the way with the bat gun. And I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> Got the bat gun swinging. That's what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? I like that. I don't think we've seen him swing with the bat gun. I would really like to see that, you know, because... You know, he'd he be, in the comics, he'd be swinging like Spider-Man with that bat gun, you know. So, uh, we never seen that before. We, we've seen him like, you know, you know, like, you know, but we ain't seen him really, you know, do nothing like that. So, I like that shot. That was like, if Superman ain't hulking the fuck up right there, I was like, hey, he looks really angry. I mean, he's like... I mean, you see Superman look like that, just get out the way. Like, all right, nigga, wait, 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 wait. I thought you was bad. I thought you was here to hurt us. Chill. <laughs> Did Batfleck coming through the fucking window. Cape spread like a bat. I mean, that says it right there. I always, man, if you if you do a Batman movie and he ain't he don't crash through at least one window with his cape out, it ain't a Batman movie. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, next. The red capes are coming. The red capes are coming. In all my pompousness. He plays pompous really good. Especially when I saw him in, um, the social network, I was like, yeah, I, I really don't like this kid. <laughs> I said, I really don't like this kid. He plays pompous really well, so. Hey, that's coming through. This fucking shirt and wine glass. Whatever the fuck. It's books in the background. Then we got the that epic shot, slow mo, of the <laughs> of Scal L walking toward the Batmobile, cape flapping. I was like, oh, some shit is about to go down here, and it is, cause he peeled it open like a fucking sardine can. Look at that Batman, like, I right, got you, bitch. Now what? And Batman said, well, let's get it on, pussy. <laughs> it stood right up, like, let's get it on. So, that's it. And that is my review, y'all. That is my review. So, the trailer is off the chain. I'm going to watch it about 50 more times get my feel of it. I cannot wait for this movie. I am, though, pissed that I did not go to see, I did not get my tickets and go to see the uh, the uh, trailer when Zack Snyder put it out because everybody got, they're going to see it a week earlier than us. Fuck all y'all. I didn't go because, like, the theater was, like, an hour and a half away that day. I was like, really? You know what I mean? If I had a known, but of course not. Nah, I mean, I'm a real fan, but I just, at that time, to go that far away, to see it on the big screen, you know. I mean, I was just thinking it was just going to be the regular trailer again. I didn't know they were going to show that last bit, and I didn't know they were going to do that shit. That's fucked up, Zach. That's the only thing I think that's fucked up. You cool with anything else? I still want to be in one of your movies. You need to cast me, okay? Because I'm going to have a million, millions of followers soon, okay? I'm already past a quarter of a million, and I shall have more. My army grows daily by the thousands. So anyway... Post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of my review. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe and share. If you did not, I don't care. But more importantly, you don't know what good entertainment is. One million subscribers. Woo!